Subtraction with borrowing. Starry, what are you thinking about? Oh, so you are solving an example of subtraction. Starry, you seem to have forgotten how to subtract by borrowing, right? Okay, let us practice it. Let us begin. 53 minus 7. Now, 3 units minus 7 units is not possible as 3 is less than 7. So, we need to take help from the digit in the tens place. That is, we need to borrow a ten from the tens place. So, the tens place now has one less, that is four. But the units place has ten more. So, instead of three, it has thirteen. Now, let us subtract. 13 minus 7 equals 6. We write 6 in the units place. Now, the 4 in the tens place has no number below it for subtracting. So, we write the 4 in the tens place of the answer. So, the answer is 46. Have you followed Starry? Good. Let us try this. 70 minus 34. Observe the unit's place. 0 is smaller than 4. So, from 0, we cannot subtract 4. We borrow 10s from the 10s place. The digit in the 10s place is reduced by 1 and becomes 6. But the units place is increased by 10 and becomes 10. Now, 10 units minus 4 units equals 6 and 6 tens minus 3 tens equals 3 so the difference is 36 now starry Look at this example. 421 minus 159. Here one unit is less than 9 units. So, we borrow a tens. The digit in the tens place is reduced by 1. And the digit in the units place increased by 10 and becomes 11. 11 minus 9 equals 2. Observe that the 1 tens is less than 5 tens. So we need to borrow again, but this time from the hundreds place. So the hundreds place is reduced by 1 to become 3. The tens place is now increased by 10 and becomes 11. 11 tens minus 5 tens equals 6 tens. Since the digit 4 in the hundreds place is reduced by 1, it 
becomes 3. Now, 3 hundredths minus 1 hundred equals 2 hundredths. So, the difference is 262. Let us see another example. 500 minus 126. If you observe carefully, 0 unit is less than 6 units. We cannot subtract 6 from 0. We need to borrow from the tens place. But look! Even the tens place has a zero. So, we cannot borrow from the tens place either. Now, what do we do? Starry, we now go to the hundreds place. The hundreds place has five. We borrow tens for the tens place. Hence, the hundreds place now has 4 and the tens place now has 10. We now borrow a 10 from the tens place for the units place. The tens place is left with a 9. Now 10 minus 6 equals 4. 9 minus 2 equals 7. And 4 minus 1 equals 3. So the difference is 374. Isn't borrowing easy, Starry? Oh, so you want to solve another example. Fine, here it is. 832 minus 269. Now 2 units are smaller than 9 units. Hence, we cannot subtract 9 from 2. So what do we do, Starry? Right! We borrow 10 from the tens place. From three tens, when we subtract one ten, we get two tens. This one ten, when we add to two units, we get twelve units. Now, twelve is greater than nine. So, twelve minus nine equals three. Observe the tens place starry. It has two tens, which is less than six tens. So, we borrow tens from the hundreds place. The hundreds place has eight. When we borrow tens, the hundreds place becomes seven. And the tens place becomes ten plus two equals 12. So, 12 tens minus 6 tens equals 6. And 7 hundreds minus 2 hundreds equal 5 hundreds. So, the difference is 563. Now let us quickly go through what we have learned today. Subtract 321 minus 113. We cannot subtract 3 from 1. So we borrow 110 from the tens place. Now the tens place is left with 110 
and the units place is 10 plus 1 that is 11. So, 11 minus 3 equals 8. Now, 1 tens minus 1 ten equals 0 ten. And 3 hundreds minus 1 hundred equals 2 hundreds. So the difference is 208. Let's solve this. 802 minus 486. Now we cannot subtract 6 from 2. So we go to the tens place for borrowing. But the tens place has a zero. So we go to the hundreds place to borrow. Now eight hundreds become seven hundreds and zero tens become ten tens. We borrow a ten for the units. So we get nine tens and ten plus two units. That is twelve units. 12 minus 6 is 6. 9 minus 8 equals 1. And 7 minus 4 equals 3. So the difference is 316. Let's try this one. 444 minus 8. Four units are lesser than 8 units. So, we cannot subtract 8 from 4. So, we borrow from the tens place. The tens place becomes 3. And the units place becomes 10 plus 4, that is 14. Now, 14 minus 8 equals 6. In the tens place and the hundreds place, there is no number to be subtracted. So, we write down 43 as it is. So, the difference is 400 and 36. Good! You have picked up subtraction very quickly. Keep it up.